Hey everybody, it's Distant here. Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be showing you how to progress through the Old Ways New Dawn Bloodhound event. So as of right now, in this event, we only have the Prologue and Chapter 1 unlocked. And within the next about 5 or 6 days, more of the chapters will be unlocked. So this is going to be a multi-part series to help you guys get through this. This can only be done during World's Edge, so once that timer goes away, then we're kind of stuck until World's Edge comes back again. So as of right now, we only have 43 minutes, so I'm going to get through this real quick. If you guys like Apex Legends or you like me as a person, make sure to smash that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the old ways, New Dawn. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to notice before you actually get into the match, you're going to see we have the White Raven already down here. And you're able to click on it, so if you click on the White Raven, then this happens. So obviously Bloodhound is saying that's not their raven. I assume that's what they're saying because it says meet. I assume that means my. But that means something strange is going on, just like they said. And over here you have the story tracker. We have the prologue that you can start. And you see chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, finale. And then you get three Bloodhound packs as your reward. So let's start th the prologue, which is what we just did. And now we're going to go to World's Edge and find the White Raven as Bloodhound. You have to be Bloodhound when you are doing these missions. So... I'm going to do solo duos in World's Edge. We got 40 minutes. Let's do this. All right, everybody. Here we are dropping in World's Edge. Now, it is supposed to spawn. The White Raven is supposed to spawn in certain locations. But on the map, you can see that it is already right there on Lava Siphon. You can see it on the map. It's going to be a picture of a raven. I thought it was going to be a bit harder to find. Like, you have to find it in certain areas. But it seems like it shows exactly where it's going to be. So there might be a lot of people here. So this is going to be pretty fun. This is this is gonna be a real fun drop. Oh god. First of all, I'm gonna double Eva up in here. Look, we're gonna see like a hundred bloodhounds running through. Hopefully I don't get shot at like I am right now. Please let me let me go. Please stop. This is so bad. This is gonna be horrendous. Alright, I'm dead. The raven's right there. Can I make it? Can I make it? I'm gonna make it down, please. Do I have to interact with it or something? It's right there. I can't do anything with it. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, just kill me. I can't. I'm. Well, I found it. There it is. So let's go into the next match. And sorry for my teammate. I gotta go. So there's gonna be a ton, a ton of Bloodhound characters and all this stuff. So it's gotta be here somewhere. And here is the bird. So as Bloodhound, you'll be able to do that. Investigate. And then track. The injured prowler. So you're gonna see the track marks of the prowler, I assume. Which I don't know how to check. Yeah, right there. You're gonna be able to see that. So I gotta go this way and keep following the tracks. I feel so bad for my crypto. For some reason solo queue is not working properly, so it just does not. I, I didn't want to do this to my teammate. I feel terrible. But you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. It's okay. Here we go. Progress save. So you also get checkpoints when you are doing these missions in case you die you just start back right there again i assume i assume that's how that works so we're just gonna fast forward up until we get to the injured prowler hey everybody it's post editing dissident here now because the raven does spawn in different locations on the map the path to the injured prowler might be different for everybody so because of this spawn location this is the direction that i am going it might be different for you i can't tell you guys exactly if it is different for you let me know down in the comments below anyway Back to the video it also does show you the distance to the target so you're definitely gonna be able to see how far away it is and i am super far away right now I, on the map i am by the dome let me get weapons just in case i need to i need to defend myself let's keep following this damage prowler there is people here but i did make it to the the other bird have you chosen the exile Ooh. The bird talks? Have you chosen exile? <laughs> Alright, now we're going to have to see if I can solo duo. I already got somebody on me right here. And more bloodhounds. And all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's going to be terrible. Because I'm not the only bloodhound running after this thing. <laughs> oh, I might die, guys. Let's kind of get through this quick. We'll see how this goes. But I believe that is how you do chapter 1. So I believe in the next two days... Chapter 2 comes out, and I will be there definitely to show you guys how to complete Chapter 2. I got murked real quick. 
I don't remember getting hit by an R301, but he practically one-tapped me with that Peacekeeper, so what you gonna do? But there you guys have it. As you see right here, we completed Chapter 1, and Chapter 2 unlocks in 2 days and 18 hours. So you definitely have a lot of time. The last day is in 5 days and 18 hours, so there's definitely a lot of time to get this done. It didn't seem that hard, honestly, at first. And I didn't really feel like hardcore sweating. It was, I just really wanted to get that video out for you guys. So, yeah, I got my butt whooped in that game. Peacekeeper shot to the face, but it is what it is, you know? All right, everybody, that's going to be it for the first chapter of Always New Dawn. I hope this guide helped you out a little bit because I saw a lot on social media that people didn't know where to find the Prowler tracks and all that stuff. But it's as simple as following the tracks like you would if you were a normal Bloodhound player. Just keep going in that direction. It may be a little bit difficult to find it. It might be a little bit confusing, but it's pretty straightforward if you just... Keep yourself a little bit focused. The hardest thing you have to deal with is the other enemies and the other enemy bloodhounds that are going to be on your butt. But other than that, chapter one seems pretty simple. But anyway, once again, I hope this guide helped you. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel for more Apex content. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.